One of DJ Pro's best feature is the video mixing feature, and they make it so easy to connect your iPad into a TV or a projector to use video mixing. So all you're going to need to connect your iPad to a TV or a projector is going to be an adapter like this. Make sure it has HDMI and make sure it has a way to charge your iPad and make sure you can use a controller because you're probably going to want to use a controller. And then this one plugs into USB-C. So we are going to plug in our HDMI cable. Then we are going to plug it into our iPad. And now we get an option. It's going to say external display connected. Which screen would you like to show on the external display? So we could either show the iPad screen. This is just going to mirror the iPad. I would only recommend this if you're doing a technical mix or scratching and you want the audience to see what you're doing. Or if you're doing an auto mix or if you're auto mixing music videos, then it can kind of be like MTV. But for the most part, we are going to want to show the video output of video mix. So we are going to select show video output. And now it is going to show the output from video mode. Notice that we are still in classic mode. You could use any mode you want, but when your iPad is connected to a TV or a projector, then it is going to display to the audience the video mode output. So to get to video mode in DJ Pro, we're going to press the middle button. And then we are going to go down to video mode. It's all the way down at the bottom. You might be in settings over here. Just make sure you're in, just make sure you're in modes and then go to video. Now this is video mode. It may look really familiar. The bottom is pretty much exactly the same as pro mode, but the difference is the top. There's no jog wheels. We have this video mode. You can scratch with these video kind of jog wheels. They're active. And then this is what the audience is going to see. So I am going to start over here. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this mode. Over here, this hidden drop down menu is how you are going to select your visualizer. So now I have this one selected. If I wanted to go to this one, if I wanted to go to this one, you just choose which one works for you. I suggest looking at all these, seeing how they react to your style of music, and then deciding which ones are right for you. Over here, if you choose this one, I'm not going to press it, but that is your camera roll. You could have videos from your camera roll. You could take video while this party's going on. Let's say it's a wedding or a sweet 16. Maybe you could have some, some nice videos of the bride and groom or something, and you could play it for the audience. It's completely up to you. And then over here is live photos. You could do the same thing with live photos or you could get more packs. I purchased all the packs. So this is pretty much all of the packs that you can get, all the different visualizers. There are a lot. They do add new ones on occasion. They haven't added new ones in a while. So get used to these ones and they react with the music. So that's how you do it. It's the same thing on the left deck as well. You could choose which one you want. Now over here, like I said, it is exactly the same, except there is a little bit of a difference when it comes to your effects. So to get to effects, we'll go over here to effects. And then we are going to go to this drop down menu to get to our effects. And now the audio effects, these only affect the audio. And then the visual effects, these only affect the visuals. So this one's kaleidoscope. Tile. So these effects are only going to affect the the visual and it's not going to affect the music at all. And then these ones are really cool. These are audio and visual. So these are going to affect the audio and the visual while you're doing video mode. So these effects are cool to use like before a drop or before a transition. It's really fun. And really, uh, you could really test your skills with mixing not only just the audio, but with the visual too, with, vid with video mode. So now this screen in the middle, this is our video output. This is what the audience is going to see. If you want to make it full screen, you could do it. You could press these arrows over here to make it full screen. And then you see exactly what the audience sees. 
over here is going to be our transitions. So when, so when we do a transition, so there's all these different ones. Again, I recommend testing these out, seeing which one would work for you, but let's try this Q one. So watch me as I move the crossfader, it's going to do a Q transition. If we choose a mosaic, it's going to do a mosaic transition. So again, test these out, see what works for your style of music. You could also change it down here, split audio and visual. Now you could change the visual and the audio separately. I find it to get a little confusing, so I like to leave it off. So we just have a regular crossfader. It's gonna, it's going to crossfade the audio and the visual. Over here, we could add text overlays. So you could do your DJ name. You could do a happy birthday, a congratulations if it's a wedding. Whatever you want to put there, you can. And then once you, once you add it, I'm just going to do video. Now, once you add it, it's there. Now we select it. And then over here, you could have it be on the right. You could have it be in the middle. You could have it be on the left. You can make the font bigger. I like to kind of fade it in when I do my intro. There's all different types of fonts and all different kind of colors that you can use. And then to turn it off, just make sure none of these are selected on blue. Now over here, we could add pictures. So this is going to be an image overlay. So you could do a picture of you, maybe your logo or something. And then the same thing to put it in the middle, you could put it in the middle and then you can adjust the scale and everything. So you can add pictures to your video mixing. I don't think a lot of people use that, but it is there for you. So that is how you, that is all of the features in video mode. And now the next thing that I want to show you is how to DJ with music videos. So Tidal has a huge selection of music videos. So we're going to go into Tidal streaming service. And then we are going to type in We'll do some Miley Cyrus. And then down here, after you search it, we'll find music videos. So these are videos. So now the video is loaded up. And now you have the video. You could mix with it just like it's the regular song and have the video playing. So we're back in pro mode. We have our jog wheels. We have everything we need. And we also have our waveforms. We can adjust our waveforms while we are using it. We could use all the features we want. And then the audience is seeing the music videos. And then you guys could get to know the music videos that you're playing. And then you could do transitions at the correct time where it makes sense with the video and not only with the audio when you do the transition. It's really cool and you could get really creative with it. Now I just want to show you some of the settings that you might want to adjust. First of all, down here is our, we have our mixer. If you do want to see your waveforms in video mode, you could press this one. So now we have waveforms instead of a mixer. It just gives you some more options. One thing that you might want to know is how to get the, sometimes when you plug in your iPad to a TV, you might get the audio out of your TV. Right now I'm getting the audio out of this device, which has a really bad speaker. So we go to settings, audio device features. This is kind of a hidden feature. And then main output, you see how it's saying it's doing the main output through this device. We want to change that. And if I had another speaker plugged in, I could do it like that. Or if you just want to output from the iPad speaker to practice, you can do it like that. And if you guys want to learn more hidden features of the amazing DJ Pro app, check out this video over here.